Power Stroke Central people, welcome back to another video. You might be wondering why I am in the room just kind of walking around doing a little vlog style video for you guys. That is because it is actually 39 degrees outside, I believe. Let me just double check you that for you guys. 301 a.m. 39 degrees outside. You guys might be wondering as well, what the hell is all that stuff on your face? For acne, I'm down. Put it on every night. Make sure all that bad stuff on the face goes away. But I made a couple of upgrades to the truck, to the 7.3, to the Ford F250 Super Duty Power Stroke. Pretty badass, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's got some of my favorite stuff on it. New tires, new exhaust tip, new rims, lift, new springs. Everything is on this guy. I mean, it's almost decked out. I just need some underglow and then leave in the comments what else I should put on this 250 because as of right now, I'm going to be showing you guys just a learning video to start it off posting because I'm going to be posting two times a week on the PowerShook Central channel. And if you guys didn't know this, I also have a second channel, which is my main channel. That's the channel I actually make revenue on. It's Bass and Bucks. If you guys want to check that out, it's linked in the description and it's also all over the truck that I'm filming. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like button and notification bell just to stay on top of things. We were going to head out Side. I'm going to be driving the truck around. I'm going to show you guys what the truck looks like now. I'm just going to be talking to you guys how to maximize your fuel mileage on your 7.3 uh, liter. I know a lot of you guys have a 7.3 and a lot of you guys have different diesels. I'm just going to probably do how to maximize fuel mileage on a diesel truck. A couple extra miles to the gallon, a couple extra miles down the road before you have to fill up and put costs and diesels expensive. Uh, that being said, we're going to head out the most fuel mileage, how to decrease wear and tear on tires and basically a full rundown on my 7.3 liter because I know a lot of you guys out there have got 7.3s. Let's dive right into it. got the truck behind me here. I'm not going to show too much of the truck because I don't want to give away too much of the surprise of the lift and the tires. I'm going to keep it above the tires. I'm going to keep it above the lift. I just wanted to come out here while the truck is behind me and talk to you guys about maximizing your fuel mileage, getting the most out of your tank when you're driving your 7.3, your diesel, your 6.7, your 6.0, your 6.4, whatever you're driving. Um, this goes for any diesel that you're driving to maximize your fuel mileage and get the most on the road. This video is going to be all about uh, performance and I'm going to be... Okay, right, so I got some notes here. I've been uh, doing a little bit of research on this because uh, I really want Want to know myself how to maximize my own fuel mileage so i've been looking around on youtube and i kind of got some notes down to just to kind of base this video around so basically let's get started here a lot of you guys older tires um stock preferably uh, but the old tires the old stock tires i had they did go flat uh, a lot of the times they had were low on air they weren't doing everything that they should have been doing it hurt my fuel mileage so the first thing i got is for you guys is to upper your air intake in your tires make sure your airs are always make sure the air in your tire is always full and to the maximum that it's allowed that It'll maximize fuel mileage that'll also keep you from getting the most air gallons and make sure that your tire stays with the least wear and tear over the most amount of time number two guys is going a little bit easier on your gas pedal if you nascar drivers out there i'm not going to name names you guys out there like to give it a little more gas than it needs i'm telling you right now guys over 2200 rpm on these diesels you're really killing your fuel mileage and you're really lowering your miles on the road until you have to fill up i try to keep mine under 2200 rpm on the highway and even in the round city when i'm revving it up my truck's only recommended for 3500 rpm and that's if you're really fucking ranking the pedal to the metal keep it under if you can keep it under 2200 rpm in a 7.3 like this you could easily get but you could definitely get 13 to 16 miles to the gallon and if you had the right air pressure in your tires you could definitely get 13 to 15 in a gallon now the third one guys i don't know if it's a myth or not um i've heard it around sometimes and i don't know what's really to believe so i want you guys to leave in the comments going easy on the ac radio electronics and in the truck so like your lights, your radio stations, your AC. I heard it could hurt fuel mileage and I've heard also that it doesn't hurt fuel mileage. So if you guys could please clarify for me down in the description or down in the comments, that'd be awesome. Think about it logically here. If you run your AC, it's going to be harder on the battery, which is going to be harder on the alternator, which is going to mean that you're going to have to turn your engine more. But that's just my thought process on it. All of it's already running anyway, so might as well just use it. It's already running the alternator, the battery and everything at the same speed that it would run if you didn't have the radio on. You just got rid of all those, but I don't know if person who doesn't listen to music or a podcast or something on their drive if you don't you might have a problem i am shivering right now guys it's I'm, texas texas weather is not the best i could go from 80 degrees one day to 39 degrees this morning uh, yeah guys so we got the towing mirrors we got the bullet antenna we got the bully exhaust we got the new tires new fuel tires we got a two inch lift kit or not lift kit but we got a two inch lift on it i'm gonna tell you guys how i did that was the third one on my list here there's two more but i'm gonna give you guys those two more whenever i am actually driving in the truck 
truck and showing you guys firsthand how you guys can maximize your fuel mileage. Hopefully go fire up the truck soon. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what the hell am I doing up at 3 a.m. You might ask, oh, you see guys, got work at 6 a.m., all right? I got two YouTube channels to run here. Uh, they need videos up on the channel. You have to actually make the videos to put them on the channel. I gotta make the videos to put them on the channel. So yes, I'm up at 3 a.m. I did pull an all-nighter, if you might ask, I did. Uh, drink coffee. There might be somebody in the house. Don't know. Don't care at this point. Cheers, fellas. Hot. Oh, fuck. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Still currently 3:45 a.m. I am gonna. I am posting a B&B video. I know a lot of you guys that are subscribed on this channel are sub also subscribed to Bass and Bucks. Post a Bass and Bucks video. I did something that I haven't done on the channel ever. Is I actually bought. I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and I just found these badass lures on there. So I bought them. I liked them. I think it's gonna make a good video and it's gonna get a lot of views. So if you wanna go check that video out, it's on the other channel. It's gonna be up when I probably post this one. So I'm gonna get a cold start on this guy. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so currently 3.34 a.m. It's, uh, I'm pretty exhausted, though. Had a long night. It ain't working. I'm actually gonna do the last two topics on how to maximize your fuel mileage in the truck, just driving around the block, just to show you guys how I do it behind the wheel and how it gets done, how the fuel mileage actually gets maximized here. Tires that I got, my new tires, they do rub. They do rub the wheel well. They're a little bit too big. That's something that I'm gonna need to fix on this channel, and I'm something that I wanna share with you guys on this channel as well. This one's a pretty simple one. Fourth one that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is actually just shedding some weight off your truck uh, as you guys saw in the last video that I made it was taking the steps off my truck that shed a hundred 200 pounds off of the truck of course that's gonna maximize fuel mileage I've seen almost a half a mile gallon gain after I did that and if you take any unnecessary weight off the truck it's gonna be a whole lot better on your truck in the end it's gonna be better on your suspension better on everything I mean I, I took weight off I added weight so it just kind of counteracted for me so the steps wasn't really mainly to max my fuel mileage and take weight off but I just thought I'd add it in here because it's kind of common sense if you take weight off you're gonna add more fuel mileage to your system fifth one guys is actually gonna be keeping on top of your maintenance uh, making sure everything's in touch everything's all the fluids are topped off all the fluids are right all the fluids are new I changed my oil every 3,000 to 5,000 miles in this diesel I recommend that for almost every single vehicle, changing it every three to 5,000 miles. Uh, I change my automatic transmission fluid every 30,000, change the oil filter every 10,000, change. You're not oil leaking oil, checking your oil every 1,000 miles. Uh, antifreeze, you gotta add, top off the antifreeze. 100,000 miles, I do the antifreeze. You will definitely get a lot more out of your truck and a lot more life out of your truck. And if you get more life out of your truck, it's obviously gonna help with further down the road. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how I max my fuel mileage real time here. Show you guys how I go easy on the gas, advantages and staying under that 2200 rpm that we're shooting for uh, so let's i'll hop right into you guys okay guys so i am driving right now we're on the back roads here uh let me show you guys where we're at we're at a uh basically on the fords guys the fuel tanks are a little messed up stays on full for 250 miles and then once it gets off of fuel it has another 250 till it's on e i don't know why it does that it's just an older model ford so it's going to do that this is what your 7.3 as you guys can see right there though uh, that Valero is at $2.15 for a gallon for diesel. So you do the math there, $60, that's gonna be, or uh, 30 gallons, it's gonna be up there in the 60, 70 bucks to fill up that big old tank. Making sure, stay under that 2200 RPM, bang. It's very simple, as you guys can see right there. Um, I'm actually gonna go and get on the highway as well. Pretty simple, pretty easy turn. Staying under that 2200 RPM, all your other goodies to whistle. I like that whistle noise. Keep it under 70. If you keep it under 70, you're gonna keep it under that 2200 RPM and that's gonna maximize your fuel mileage. You're gonna end up getting 15 to 20 miles to the gallon. That's what I've noticed when I've hit the highways. See the drive back video off for you guys. It's been a pretty easy one. And I do like to give my seven tree a rev every now and then, but I don't rev it up all the freaking time. Shit. Here, hey, do you hear that guys? You hear that? Beautiful rev on my seven. You hear that guys? Wow. Up again. Yep. You hear that guys? Yes, sir. That's rub on my 7.3. Got 35 inch tires on there. 20 inch wheels with a 18, negative 18 inch offset. Now you guys want to talk about not maximizing fuel mileage. That's how you do it right there. You rev the f out of it. 
Anyways, that's how you maximize your fuel mileage on a 7.3 or any diesel vehicle for that matter. If you guys did enjoy this video, and if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, that'd be amazing. If you wanna watch the next videos, they'll be up at the top here and up at the bottom down there. It's worth your time investing in hitting that subscribe button for free. Um, I'm not a guru trying to sell you the subscribe button. You can actually hit that thing for free. You might wanna go hit that, and you can kinda hit the like button for free and a comment for free. It's not like you have to pay for that. But that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this Power Stroke Central episode. We'll catch you on another one. The next video you will see will be actually giving you guys a rundown on my new 35 inch or 12 and a half inch wide tires. Uh, they're massive, they look good, and they're sexy on the truck. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on another one. Thank you.